so we have got a 34 year old male who presented with palpitations for four hours okay so this was the CG which was short so I have a good look at this ECG and then I will be discussing the positive findings on this ECG. So I have given you now some intervals to look at them because they are very important if you need to reach to the diagnosis. So I have given you these intervals. So just look at these intervals. So there are PP interval, RR interval and PR interval. So I have marked these intervals for you. So these are very important. Okay. So if, okay. So now these are the findings which you should be looking at and then you should be able to reach to your diagnosis so namely these are you have to look at the p waves their morphology their axis whether they are sinus or not next is each p wave is followed by a qrs complex or not and the pr interval is it within normal limits or is it prolonged and finally if the rhythm is regular or it is irregular so we we'll look at all these parameters in our ECG okay so now let's define all these parameters so first of all look at the P waves so if you can see the P waves I am highlighting this for you so these P waves have a very regular morphology so this means these P waves are not changing. So they have a similar morphology. And based on the ECG, they appear to be coming from the sinus area. So these are the sinus P waves. Okay. Next is each P wave of the same morphology. So I have told you, yes, they look to be of the similar morphology. Here, here, and here. Okay, the next is each P wave is followed by a QRS complex or not. So you can appreciate that each and every P wave on this long lead strip is followed by a QRS complex. Okay, so there are no drop beads. Even here, you cannot appreciate a P wave. Okay, so this is some kind of pause. And that's why this may, might make some confusion. For that we'll discuss this further okay so every p is followed by a qrs complex okay what about the pr interval so does this look to be normal or short or long well these appear to be uh, of the normal intervals so these are within three to five small scares okay and they appear to be relatively fixed they are not changing. So if you can see, these PR double are relatively fixed. They are not changing. Okay. Every P when it is followed by a QRS complex, there is not a grossly change in PR intervals, and this is very important. And finally, is the rhythm regular? So uh, there appears to be some irregularity for sure. So you can see, look at here, these are R intervals. Okay, so if you can see these intervals are different from these intervals. Okay, so R interval are definitely different. So this shows that rhythm is not regular. Okay, so now let's define this again. So is there a P wave? Yes, there is a P wave. Is the P wave of the same morphology? Yes, and each P wave is of sinus in nature. Every P wave is followed by a QRS. PR interval is between three to five small scares and the rhythm is not regular. So what does this suggest? So if you find
find these parameters and these features on the ECG, the most likely underlying diagnosis for this gentleman is that this he is having sinus arrhythmia. Okay. So now let's see what sinus arrhythmia. So sinus arrhythmia is diagnosed when the P wave morphology is normal and is consistent. Like in this case, is it sinus? So it should be sinus. And the PP intervals they have to vary by more than 120 millisecond at least. This means it's a cross variation in the PP interval that should be there for this diagnosis. However, the PR interval will not vary significantly. There might be very small change, but not a cross change just like seen uh, in the PP intervals. So the PR intervals usually kinds of remain the same. Okay. So why this is important to diagnose sinus arrhythmia? Because there are some pathologies which uh, need management, further management which includes this sinus node dysfunction like sinus pauses or sinus arrest. So you have to be vigilant about how to differentiate a sinus arrhythmia from sinus arrest. So in this case, it was sinus arrhythmia. So the presence of sinus arrhythmia is usually uh, of not of that significance apart from this academic and obviously to differentiate this from the sinus node dysfunction. So generally these patients uh, we just need to reassure them and these usually do not need further testing.